Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I have three projects for you today and I hope you enjoy them. If you do, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and leave me a comment if you like. Last night I was watching uh, some videos and I saw a video by Alicia English. Showed you how to do buffalo check. So I've been wanting to do a couple of these um, projects for a while now, and she really inspired me to do so. I also saw this tiny little hat in a video. Isn't that adorable? Okay, so this first project is uh, some rain boots. I decided to uh, try to do buffalo check on the rain boots. Okay, so I started out by painting them all white. I just painted the whole boot white except for the bottom. I did put uh, two, I did end up putting two coats on there. This was a very difficult project. You'll be able to see uh, it's really hard to put the tape on. Okay, so after they're dry, I begin to put the tape on them. My tape was very thick, so I had to cut it. So you start out horizontally, you put your first piece on. And then you're going to have a spacer piece. Now when you put the spacer piece on, don't push it down real hard because you're going to keep taking that off. As you can see, I start right away having difficulty. Don't mind my spacing right here because I have a buckle in my boot so I have to um, account for that. And here's where I'm cutting my tape. I have to make everything hard on myself. Now I'm taking my okay, space so I put my off. third and I'm gonna put After it on I the fix one, this below one piece. The third piece. I put my third piece on. I don't know why I keep bothering with this little piece. It doesn't even matter. Okay, so here's the boot, we're all taped up. Now we're gonna be using four colors. And I don't know if you can see this, but I numbered them. White is one, light gray is two, darker gray is three, and black is four. So now I'm on color number two, my light gray. Because I already painted the boot all white. And I just use a little makeup brush to dab it on. Okay, so when I'm finished this, I just set it aside and I 
let it dry. And while it's drying, I'm going to paint my stool. I actually just paint this all white with my Waverly white chalk paint. I do end up using two coats on this. I got these stools at Goodwill um, probably about a year ago. And I put that aside to dry. Now, back to the boots. This is how the light gray came out. Now, now we're gonna put our tape on vertically. This is where the hard part comes in. This project gave me a run for my money, I'll tell you that. It was pretty difficult. But I was determined. I was determined to see how it came out. Okay guys, so after I got all the tape on, then I'm gonna start with color number three, the darker gray. And here's where I have to apologize. I lost the part of the video where I put the black color on. So I wasn't about to delete all this after us, how hard I worked. So I'm going to just explain it to you. So after you let this dry, you take your tape off and then you put your tape back on horizontally, exactly how you did in the beginning. After that, you put the black on all your empty spaces. That's all you have to do. You're going to take these vertical pieces off. After this dries, put the horizontal ones back on around the top, starting at the top. And then color all your empty spaces black. So this is what it'll look like when it's finished. I added the stool to it. My next project is a buffalo fabric wall decor. I found these pieces of wood out in the garage and I pre-painted them for you. This fabric um, comes in bundles at Walmart. The first bundle I got for $3.99, the second bundle I got for seven dollars but I thought they were so cute so they'll be great for the holidays I have this old picture that I took the frame from it a while back for another project and I just um, wrapped my fabric around the frame um, I used my glue gun I just glued the edges and pulled the fabric tight around the edges. And that was basically it. This project is very easy. So then I take my frame and I measure it up to the picture. And I use my E6000 and my glue gun to put it together. Eventually, I do uh, put a nail in each corner for support.
Then I take my fabric, and since there's no backing on the frame and no glass, I use popsicle sticks uh, to hold it in the back. I glue them all around the edges. So when I put the back on it, it, the popsicle sticks hold it. Once I flip it over and set it on the back side of the frame, I do use my E6000 on the corner uh, popsicle sticks. For more support. I flip it over and I put something heavy on the corners so it stays. I really like how this turned out and it was so easy. And by the way, if you see that little corner that's unfinished, it will be finished as you can see. So later on in the video, I'll show you how I decorated with that picture. So this um, project was so simple too. I didn't want to do any more painting, so I used a piece of the fabric. And after I painted these candlesticks that I got from Goodwill for $1.99, I wrapped some fabric around the middle. I added some fall foliage from Dollar Tree, put some bags in there for support, and there you go. Simple decor. So cute and so easy. And this is how it turned out. So here are my projects. I hope you enjoyed them. Please subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment. Hit the like button if you did enjoy watching. And I'll see you Tuesday with another three projects.